In this video, we will look at the sum to infinity of a convergent geometric progression. You will find this on page 66 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. The sum to infinity of a convergent geometric progression. In a sequence of the type 2, 6, 18, 54, where consecutive terms have a common ratio bigger than 1. Okay, this is very important. Bigger than 1. The sum of these terms tends to infinity. That is, as we add the next term, the sum just gets larger and larger without bounds. This is an indication that the series diverges. The same will happen in a sequence where the common ratio is smaller than negative 1. The value of the common ratio cannot be equal to 1 because then the series would not be geometric and the sum formula would involve division by 0. So remember, it cannot be 1. So, R cannot be 1. When the common ratio is between negative 1, not equal, but between that values, the terms become smaller in size as we continue along the sequence. We call the sum of such a geometric sequence a convergent sum because as we add the next term, the sum converges upon a number, tends towards a definite limit. In other words, if you keep adding the terms of the sequence together forever, you will get a finite value. The value will be equal to s to infinity is equal to a over 1 minus r. So it will strive to a definite answer. Okay, let's look at the next example. This. Calculate the sum of the first 10 terms. Okay, so if I substitute, remember r is smaller than 1. So I put the ones in front. I get this. Calculate 15. I get this. Calculate 20. I get this. Now, can you see? It's 80.99. 80.999. 80.99. So it's it's tending towards 81. So if you use this formula, you will get 81. So it's almost like striving to that 81. So in the results get closer and closer to 81. Okay. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do, you can do number one. Uh, let's make it B and then number two. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, so this is a half plus a quarter plus 1 over 8 plus 1 over 16 plus 1, 2, 3. Okay, so if we start there, then we're going to say the value of A is a half. The value of R, okay, it's T1, T2, T3, okay. So if I get R, I'm just going to say a quarter divide a half, which is equal to a quarter multiplied 2 over 1, which is a half. And I can just show you that if you say uh, T3 divide T2, then it will be 1 over 8 divide a quarter, which will be 1 over 8 multiplied 4 over 1, which will also be a half. So therefore, the value of R is a half. Now, it's that in between, between 1 and negative 1. So, now I can use the sum to infinity. So, don't forget your formula. Memorize it or be able to find it on the formula sheet. Okay. And if I'm substituting then that, I'm just getting A is a, um, oh, A is also a half. So, don't forget, A is a half. It's a lot of halves. And then it's 1 minus a half. So it's actually a half divided by a half. So that sum will tend to 1. And that's the final answer. Okay. And number 2, let's do number 2. It's just playing around with the formula, manipulating the formula. Okay. Let's do number 2. Find the first four terms of a geometric series. If the first term is 12, and the sum to infinity, and that's the infinity sign, is 24. So start with your formula. 
Okay, so the first four terms, so I'm going to say s to infinity equals a over 1 minus r. Let's first get r. So infinity is 24, a is 12, and 1 minus r. Now I cross multiply, so I get 24, 1 minus r is equal to 12. Then I divide 24, I divide 24, and 1 minus r is equal to a half. So if I take the r, so it's 1 minus a half is equal to r, so therefore r is equal to a half. Okay, but that's not the answer. They're asking you, let's just move this, and uh, to get the first four terms. Okay, so let's just start this now. Uh, what's the value of a? It's 12. If you multiply with a, a half, so what is the half of 12, so what will it be? 6. In the half of 6, what will it be? 3. In the half of 3, it's 1 and a half. And that will be um, first. Will be the first four terms. Okay, and that's how we do it.